With Shu's occupation of Hanzhong and Wu's simultaneous invasion of Fawn Castle, war and turmoil were not sure of supply in the Kingdom of Wei. In 219 AD, the fighting would further spread into Jing when Guan Yu launched an attack against Fawn Castle. Jing was centrally located between all three kingdoms, making it a realm of continual conflict. Cao Cao especially coveted this region and thus placed trusted kinsman Cao Ren in charge of defending Fawn Castle. However, this strategically vital castle was now completely surrounded by Guan Yu's troops. When word of the attack reached Zhu Huang, he immediately headed to Fan with his troops to assist. If he was to rescue Cao Ren, Zhu Huang knew he had to break through Guan Yu's forces. The two warriors may be friends, but on the battlefield, no mercy may be shown. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Shu Huang scenario, the defense of Fan Castle, and the special rules, well, there aren't any, so we're good to go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Marauder at level 10. The items, as you know, it's been a while, but I'll show off exactly what I'm going to be using. So here we go. Uh, I'll leave the bodyguards at 2. The objectives, all we have to do is defeat Guan Yu, and we can't allow either myself or Sal Ren to fall, have the time run out, or allow Guan Yu to reach Fawn Castle. If he does that, then we lose, and obviously if I die, if Sal Ren falls, or if the time runs out, we also lose. Anyways, Yun Info. For the Wei Forces, we have Shu Huang, which is me, and that's it for now. Sal Ren will appear later. But uh, anyways, for the Shu forces, you have Guan Yu and Ma Liang, Guan Ping, Zhou Song, and Liao Hua. Alright, let's do it. So, this one's pretty straightforward. Um, over the course of time, there will be actual siege weapons that will appear. And your goal is to destroy all of them. You can't allow them to hit Fang Castle and have them destroy the walls. Or set up the siege ramps. Otherwise... One, you may approach Fawn Castle. Well, I haven't really tested that one out myself personally, but more likely that would be the key for Guan Yu to enter Fawn Castle and um, will cause us to loss. Well, anyway, Liao Hua is down. And that's one uh, siege ramp, uh, one catapult down. That's another catapult down. I think we took care of both catapults. So we'll move on. Now we'll aim for the siege ramps. And I think there's Zhou Song right there. Alright, both Guan Ping and Zhou Song go down. Now I'm gonna go and destroy the other siege ramp. This is the easy part right here. Well, for the fact I am playing it on normal, and Shu Huang's morale, well not morale, but stats are at max, and I am using pretty much the items I want to use, that's highly advantageous. But um, anyways, so now that we have done that, we're going to go grab the dim sum and move some wine, and then get the fire arrows, because there is a unique item in this stage, and th those are the fire, I mean, fire arrows, wow. That's the last part. Um, the power scroll. Um, let's not mess up again like I did with the two horses. So, the power scroll is a unique item in the stage. If you haven't gotten it in the original disc, you could get it here. In order to do that, all you have to do is secure all four gates. That's it. So, that part's pretty easy. Um, if you're trying to get it in the original for as a reminder all you have to do is play the yellow turban fortress i believe you have to do it in musa mode um i could be entirely wrong on that i did it in musa mode because i knew exactly what i needed to do um kind of um all you have to do is personally defeat both zhao yun and guan yu in the yellow turban fortress which is pretty much the first stage in the game uh second stage my bad uh second stage um no, first stage. Campaign against Lube is the second stage. 
So the Yellow Tarmen Fortress is the first stage because I know the Yellow Tarmen Mist in Musu mode is um, the next stage after that. But I'm pretty sure you can do it in free mode. Um, I know getting the Hex Mark is Musu mode required because you have to play both stages. Um, but uh, yeah, so play the Yellow Tarmen Fortress under the Yellow Turbans. Um, might as well do it in Musu mode for all I care because uh, you are playing that as the first stage anyway. Then uh, defeat both. Guan Yu and Zhao Yun. You gotta make sure you deliver the final blow. So, anyways, um, I secured both gates. I grabbed the dim sum. The Musa wine is right here. And then we'll move on. There will be a special cutscene when we approach Guan Yu. So, get ready for that. Or, we'll face Ma Liang first. Two more gates I need to secure, and we'll be set. Alright, so far so good. Now I'll head over to the other gate, secure that gate, then we'll grab the power scroll and end the stage. Uh, just be careful though, because the power scroll is right by Guan Yu and all the troops and they're attacking. So when you get there, they may break the box. So you might want to grab that right away. Just um, a heads up there. Oh, never mind. They're good to go. And there we go. Alright, time to finish this off. Also note, um, with the power scroll, what that does is, if you're in a clash with an enemy general or officer, if you have that equipped, you will never lose a deadlock. What I mean is, if you actually lose or tie in a deadlock, you'll be immobilized for a second or two. I'll show you like this. And, um, you'll lose your Musu gauge. If you equip that, it's not going to guarantee you a win, but it'll guarantee your opponent not beating you. So, no matter what, the worst case scenario for you will be a tie. So, both of you will become immobilized for a second or two, and then you could go on your way. But, um, if for some reason you are fast enough, obviously you will win. But they will never, ever beat you. And that's a win. Alright. So, that's another one down. So, there it is. A power scroll. Like I said before, in order to get it, all we have to do is secure all four gates. That's it. Um, if you're trying to do it on the original disc, or if you don't have... Well, this is the way to get it. If you don't have the original, or you find it difficult to get it on the original disc. But, um, in order to get it on the original, all you have to do is play the Yellow Turban Fortress under the Yellow Turbans. Then defeat both Xiao Yun and Guan Yu personally, as in deliver the final blow. Then the supply captain will appear and you have to pop up, well, go over there and uh, defeat him quickly. But anyways, and as I said before, the power scroll, you'll never lose a weapon deadlock. That doesn't mean you'll automatically win. The worst case scenario you'll get will be a tie. So, just uh, keep that in mind if you actually do equip that. Um, our KO count is 163. Our worthy opponent count is 5. We defeated everybody in the stage for a while. Well, defeated everybody in the stage for what I know of, anyway. Um, our clear time is 5 minutes and 37 seconds. 
We're probably going to have a shit ton of points, so that's going to take a bit. We usually do. Seven thousand four hundred and eighty-two points. Not that that matters because the rank is at max, as you can see. All right. The weapon experience doesn't matter because we have the level ten weapon. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. The grade. We got an A. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, Extreme Legends, but for me, it's still 4. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and complete another Legend scenario or Legend mode. Um, peace out.